And a very good evening, everybody. I'm John Cole. Matt Goodman, a very solid and dependable member of the Cayo football team this year, headed to the next level, signing a letter of intent with the University of Jamestown to join the Jimmies, and it's happy for this chance to keep on playing a game he loves. Um, when I went there, I really liked the environment that they had, that they had me in. The coaching staff was amazing. They took the time to like, talk to me, ask me how I did this year, and it made me feel really welcomed. What did they like about you? They, um, they liked how I played on the offensive side of the ball, but um, I want to play on the defensive side of the ball, so I'm hoping they can try to move me out to a linebacker position. You know, that'd be really nice because of my size and my frame. I'm a little undersized for IPM for college. So maybe learn how to play um, some outside linebacker. Be pretty cool. You're going to get an opportunity to play NCAA Division II college football. That's a very good level. You've got to be happy about that. That's mm -hmm. exciting. Yeah, it feels really nice. I'm actually really honored and grateful for the opportunity and hoping I can make the best of it. I know you were a battler. You got a favorite Kyle football memory for me? Ooh, it's quite a few. Last year on homecoming, we're beating Wofford, put Will Erickson in the game. He scores a touchdown that, that lit me up inside. You know, maybe you didn't have so many wins and things like that, but you had good memories with your buddies. Mm -hmm. it, it, was, it was tough not being able to, like, win a bunch like the other teams but overall it was a really fun year really fun four years actually i had a very good baseball player helped the williston keybirds from the second in the state also an outstanding student he's a good solid football player three other kyrites are already there they are jj williams cole mack and tenisi capan so we're sending another good one down there to the jimmies now it's been my pleasure to cover the coyote boys swimming and diving team for 42 years and many many times they were outnumbered by the Minots and the centuries of the league but they always competed. And the great thing about the WDA I mean you know every outing is going to be tough and that's what a guy like you loves you love to compete. Yeah honestly I mean it, it was a lot of fun I I didn't do what I wanted to in my 500 but as well I didn't have a lot of rest time so I I'm still excited to see what we can do. And the great thing about the WD, every time you jump in the pool, the competition's tough. Yeah, the competition is tough for dive, and uh, but we hope to make it past that. Yeah, the Minots in the centuries, they're always looking out for you. Yep, Minot has a huge team, and uh, but we hope to be able to compete against them this year. And that's why you compete. Yeah, of course. Well, you've been doing this for a long time, so now you've got to put it together senior year, right? Yep, um, I've been swimming since kindergarten. Uh, so, been working a long time. And you know, a great thing about the WDA, every meet's tough. I mean, it's, there's no softies. Yeah, correct. Um, everyone tries their best. So. And their Minot's always waiting for it. Oh yeah, they're always there. Yep. There you go, always fighting away. That's how we like it. Lady Teton freshman Allison Kunze has been named the Mondag Player of the Week in two knots conference games. In Arizona, she scored 41 points with 23 rebounds, four assists. I call her a tough kid from Malta, Montana. No wonder she made the All-State team for that club, having a great freshman year. Also, on the men's side of things, this guy's having a great freshman year. Rex Sterling, all he did in Arizona was score 44 points, 22 rebounds, shoot 63% from the field, three blocks, and he has had a great first half for Alex Herman, and he calls Melbourne, Australia home. So good job to Alex recruiting him. We got a double-A basketball poll to talk about. First on the boys' side, North, your defending state champ. They are 6-0, Fargo Davies, 4-0, Minot, 6-0. Coyotes obviously saw them last night, good again. Century is fourth, 7-0. Williston has seen them. They're good again. And Central, we go east, 4-2. and two. Gals, looks like this. Minot. Williston did not play them. But they elected to send out their JV team against the Coyotes, and that'll end soon. Williston's playing much better. Uh, Fargo Davies is second, 4-0. Century third, 7-0. Grand Forks Central, 4-1. And, and then West Fargo Horse is 4-0. NBA tonight. Minnesota ran into Philadelphia final there, 127 to 113. Get this, Joel Embiid, NBA most valuable player last year, 51 points, 51 points with 12 rebounds. Edwards had uh, 27. And let's take a timeout on First News at 10. 